What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply icons into our navigation menus or submenus into our WordPress website for free, okay? So before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many more topics in order to use internet on your sites favor so let's get this started first of all please go to our wordpress dashboard but before we can continue let's understand why icons are important for your mini navigation menus do you know amazon.com site nav menu can you see that the cart icon have the cart the, the cart menu have the cart icon so this is to grab users attention to reduce the bounce rate to drive the directions on your menus, for example, imagine this website menu, for example, as you can see, we have a blog right here, but what if we have an account menu right here? Would not be good to have the account icon next to it, or only the icon instead of the menu linking to the account? This is possible. If you have a shop right here, the cart icon, the shopping icon, for example, there is a lot of cases, or even in submenus you can apply icons, okay, to make it easier to identify, to understand, and to make it more designer friendly, for example. So let's get this started now. Go to our WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus, hover a mouse over plugins, and click on add new. Into the upper right corner, next to the field called keyword search plugins, we're gonna type menu image. And why menu image? Because we can apply images instead of only icons next to our menus. I'm gonna show this later, so no need to worry. In my case, it's click to activate, but in yours, gonna be install, okay? Install now. Click on install now, and after this, click on activate. This gonna redirect you to the page where the plugin asks you to collect the data. You can alloy or skip. It's up to you. And then the plugin gonna redirect you to this page. This is the setting page, okay? And what you can do? We can change the menu image hover, enable the image on hover field. It's possible, okay? Keep it enabled so we can test. Now, first menu image size. We can change the size of the menus, okay? Icons or images. Second menu image size third menu image size, okay? You can change this in the way that you want. After this, just make sure that you click on save change. And if you do not do change, nothing to do right here. But now, if you go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, and click on menus, if you hover your mouse over any menu eating right here, this is my primary menu, as you can see, okay? The menu that is present into this navigation at the top of the site. So if I hover my mouse over the home menu, I can see the menu image link right here. Click on it. This is gonna open this field that I can apply the icon into the position that I want. For example, the below, before, after. I prefer the icons after, okay? And then I can choose the icons. We have the dash icons and the font awesome, but to use font awesome icons, we must install another plugin. So let's give this to another tutorial, okay? Let's let me find an icon that reflects my home page, okay? That have some relation to home page. Maybe a, a house icon or a home icon. As you can see, there is a lot of icons right here, so you can choose from. Let me use this one as an example, okay? And click on Save Change. This is all you have to do. But this will not save the menu, so click on Save, change, save Menu once again. Just to make sure. Now, as you can check, we have a home menu and a home icon right here next to it, okay? Does it work in submenus? Let me apply, for example, the cart under the home page, for example. 
Yes, it works on the submenus in the case that I need. We can apply icons right here. If I click into this arrow, it opens the cart and add an image or icon. This is gonna load the same pinion, okay? An important note, okay? If I add a new item to my menu, I must save the menu before trying to add the icons, okay? So click on menu image. Now we can choose an image, okay? We can select an image or set an image for a hover. We can select the image size, okay? Or icon, okay? Let me choose something, save change. Let's save the menu just to make sure. And as you can see, we have an icon on our sub menu. Simple, easy and fast. But imagine the following scenario. Instead of this cart icon, you have, for example, an account page. Let me try to find the my account page from WooCommerce, for example. So my account, let me add this to the to the menu. Let me save the menu. Now I'm gonna be adding an icon to my account page. Let me show this into the website navigation. Here is the my account page next to the search icon. Now I'm gonna apply an icon to my menu account, okay? I think this one is good for this example. Now instead of letting this to be after my account, I'm gonna set to hide. But let's review what happens if we hide? Let me save the menu. And let's do the chest. Can you see? There is no longer my account text into my menu dashboard. However, if I click into this button right here, I'm gonna be redirected to the account page. Simple, right? So you can turn the icon into a clickable thing to any page that you want. This is very useful in a lot of cases and a lot of sites. So it's a hidden and good feature. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress team or borderless WordPress plugin in order to gain widgets, elements, templates and tools to build your site up using Elementor or Block Editor and even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click and our Enzu WordPress team that is the best free WordPress team that you can download. To install this or borderless for example for free, you can go directly to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzu, click on install and activate it. Same for borderless but on plugins, add new, okay? And in the case that you are in need of your website up and running faster, or full support, premium icon libraries, premium template library, unlock access to our premium blocks, design elements, and many more pro features, go to visualmoto.com, purchase a Visual Moto Pass that includes borderless pro and Enzo pro licenses, and go premium. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best.